Hello everyone, I'm here to demonstrate how TIPCO Spectrum of Integration delivers the most advanced hybrid integration platform for our enterprise customers today. So it is evident that application development is evolving by embracing the hybrid uh, deployment models. The shift is being driven by organizations ad adopting uh, to push their entire infrastructure to the cloud. This includes systems like their ERP or CRM. Uh, and this also involves pushing their integration applications to the cloud as well. So while moving your integration applications to the cloud, it is important to consider the best service uh, or the best applications that should be uh, shifted. So that would mean um, in some cases where you're connecting to a legacy main mainframe system or connecting to an on-prem SAP system, it is better to have your integration applications still, ru still running on-prem. But when you're actually connecting to cloud-based uh, applications like uh, Salesforce or SAP HANA, you would rather have your applications deployed on the cloud. So, your org so the organization should have uh, the flexibility to run their integration on-prem or in the cloud uh, to enable their digital journey. So in today's demo, we are going to showcase TIPCO's ability to support such deployment models where customers can actually choose their deployment environment. So TIPCO's hybrid integration platform uh, enables our enterprise customers to implement a truly microservices compliant architecture. Uh, our HIP or our hybrid integration platform uh, also provides truly agile integration flows by allowing customers to run their uh, integration applications on a platform of their choice, either on-prem or on a cloud platform of the customer's choice. So this approach actually allows for multiple benefits. Uh, one of the key factors is cloud with control. So the customer actually uh, has the ability to leverage the, uh, the benefits of, uh, of, a, of a cloud uh, based integration application while still maintaining control over his environment. So in today's de demo, we are actually going to show you three different microservices uh, which have been developed using our flagship product BusinessWorks. Two of these services are going to um, query uh, a, a specific contact that is existing in Salesforce while simultaneously pulling uh, any sales order that have been created for the same uh, contact on uh, SAP HANA. So, these two microservices have actually been uh, developed and deployed onto a container which is running on Red Hat OpenShift. Uh, alter alternatively, you can actually run the same containers uh, on other cloud vendors like Azure and Kubernetes as well. For the purpose of this demo though, we are sticking to OpenShift. So once you have these two, in these two microservices bringing in the information from the cloud, uh, we've developed a third microservice which is connecting to an on-prem SAP system and taking the information we have received from SAP HANA and Salesforce and it is creating a sales order uh, simultaneously in a legacy on-prem uh, SAP system which is uh, within the customer's environment. So uh, for this specific microservice we have deployed it on-prem since it's mainly an on-prem based interaction. Uh, so it makes more sense to have this uh, um, uh, this specific microservice running on-prem. So I'm going to now show you the uh, microservices that have been developed to connect to the uh, SaaS-based applications, which is Salesforce and SAP HANA. Uh, you can see here that there is a microservice uh, which has been developed and exposed as a REST API endpoint. Uh, what this microservice does is it goes into HANA and fetches uh, a specific sales order for any given contact. Uh, so this actually returns the response through a through an API call uh, and uh, you can actually use it for downstream consumption in any digital channel. So we've done the same for Salesforce as well, where you're able to query uh, any Salesforce uh, contact that is currently existing in the environment. And it is again exposed through a similar REST API so that you can uh, consume it downstream through any uh, channel that is required. So what we've done with these two microservices is we've actually deployed them onto OpenShift. 
and these uh, microservices are actually running on uh, on the OpenShift environment that you see here. And this allows for these containers to have a lot of flexibility in terms of scaling up and scaling down and all those features that you get with OpenShift traditionally. So now that we have the APIs uh, up and running on OpenShift, we've built a UI that sort of consumes this um, uh, these uh, uh, consumes the information coming from these containers. And when you actually go to the UI, uh, you see that uh, you have the contact information uh, that you need to enter. And once I query a contact by the name Gunjan, it automatically fetches the information from Salesforce and from the SAP HANA cloud instance. And as you can see, it has also created a sales order within the on-prem SAP system as well. So the, the on-prem uh, SAP system uh, is being uh, connected to by using an on, uh, by using a BW application that has been deployed uh, on a uh, local VM. So that is running on a different instance where it is, um, uh, where as you can see, it is actually running within uh, uh, within a Windows VM that is running on-prem. And it is actually connecting to the on-prem uh, SAP um, system and uh, inserting the sales order there. This, this sort of shows you that the customer has that level of flexibility where he's able to deploy applications onto an environment of his choice and uh, and leverage the abilities of uh, leverage the capabilities of the uh, tipco hybrid integration platform for his digital journey mm -hmm.